Hello, I'm Gil Zilka. Welcome to Essential Classical Music. This video is taken from my larger video on the consensus reference recordings of the core classical music repertoire. Not my choices, but rather the collective critical consensus that has filtered down through the years uh, across generations, across continents, uh, to which you uh, have also contributed. Uh, and if you agree with my choices, or if you think the consensus lies elsewhere, as always, feel free to comment, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, now we are to the V's, Verdi, uh, starting with uh, Verdi's Requiem. Uh, this has also had a slew of, of great recordings, uh, going back to the time of, of Toscanini. But I think that this recording is pretty uncontroversial in terms of being the reference choice. Uh, Carlo Maria Giulini, uh, the Philadelphia, uh, sorry, Philharmonia Orchestra and Chorus, uh, powerhouse uh, quartet of soloists, uh, including uh, Elizabeth Schwarzkopf, Krista Ludwig, Nikolai Geta, and Nikolai Jarov. Uh, very famous recording uh, and, and still highly regarded today. Now for the operas, for Aida, uh, this one is not a slam dunk. Uh, there, you know, there was, uh, uh, there was, there was the Callus version. Um, there is uh, Montserrat Caballet did a wonderful version conducted by Ricardo Muti. Uh, but I think, I think this is probably the most, gets the most plethora of, of consensus opinion uh, in its favor. And that's the one with, uh, connected by Janelle Perlia, uh, the Rome Opera House, uh, Zinke Milanov is Aida, UC uh, Bierling is Radames, uh, um, Amoramnis is uh, Leonard Warren. And then you have Boris Kristoff as a Ramnis. Uh, so a, a really good cast, uh, fairly well recorded for its time and in the mid-50s. Uh, I think this retains it, its place among Aida's. Um, then Otello. Okay, this one, uh, I got to go with this version from the 40s, the Toscanini version, uh, with Ramon Vinay, an excellent Otello, uh, and then the Iago is Giuseppe Valdengo. Uh, they're just electric and the combination of, of uh, Toscanese conducting. Uh, it's not too bad sounding for its time. Of course, it's you know, famously dry as Toscanini tended to be. Um, but this is one of the iconic Toscanini recordings. It's one of the iconic opera recordings. And I think it still retains its place as the reference today, even though there have been a bunch of other really good uh, Otello's, uh, John Vickers, Placido Domingo. Uh, you could easily slide them in next to this one, but I, I think this one is so iconic. I'm gonna just keep it here on its own. And then for Rigoletto, here we go again with Callis and her, her uh, band of friends. <laughs> uh, Giuseppe uh, St uh, Di Stefano, uh, Tito Gobi, uh, Tullio Serafin. Um, and this is, I think, the La Scala version. Yeah, it's with La Scala. Uh, recorded in mono, uh, but fairly good sounding mono, and uh, probably on the whole considered to be the iconic uh, Rigoletto recording. Now, La Traviata. This one is, is it's almost come as kind of famous how difficult it is to, to center on one Traviata recording. B basically, the word on the streets is that there is no perfect Traviata, <laughs> and part of the issue is that it, it seems the consensus is in agreement that the great Violetta was Maria Callas. It was considered maybe her signature role, but uh, we don't really have a, 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 a studio stereo recording showing her uh, you know, sounding the best. So we have to kind of debate among uh, the different uh, air checks. Uh, and by and large, I would say this one uh, gets the most critical praise, the one conducted by Carlo Maria Giulini. Uh, this was recorded, uh, let's see, it was the La Scala version. I think it was recorded in Lisbon. But it, it is with La Scala. And uh, it's got Giuseppe Di Stefano as uh, Germain. Uh, so it's a, it's a really good performance. 
but it's 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 not so great recording quality. But that's how highly regarded Callus is in this role. That even despite the sound quality, it's 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 one of the reference recordings. And then for uh, a a good sounding recording, it, it's there's a lot of debate over it. But I would say that if there is one, it's probably the closest we have is this one, conducted again by. Carlos Kleiber, so that's that's always going to give it a little bit of an extra push. Uh, uh, Iliana Cotrubus uh, plays Violetta, and uh, Placido Domingo is Germain, uh, and then you have uh, Kleiber's conducting added to that. So um, it, it's still a heavy debate, I would say, uh, but, but if you were going to center on one stereo version, it would, it would probably be this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, I hope you'll also take time to click the like and subscribe buttons. And with that, I want to wish you all a great day and happy listening.